Hello guys, today I'm going to show you installing Jellyfin, a free to use media streaming application for Unread. So Jellyfin is an application which is based on MB 3.5.2. So most of the features in Jellyfin are free when comparing to MB. So like features like uh, transcoding using GPUs. So in MB you need to purchase that but in Jellyfin you don't need to. So installing the Jellyfin server or the Jellyfin media ser streaming server on your Android uh, system is much more easier than you think. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to your Android server's interface. So afterwards what you need to do is you will need to go to your app step. So if you already have this then it's good. If not uh, I will have a link in the description uh, which is uh, given by the community of Android in installing this app step on your Android server. So you can check on that link and install this before going uh, forward. So pause this video and go if so, if not continue watching. So afterwards what you need to do is you will need to search Jellyfin in the app steps search interface. So after you search you will get uh, three options out of these three options anything is possible but uh, in my case i'm going to use this linux uh, version of jellyfin so i'm going to click on this install icon and uh, i'm going to change the port number the reason for me to change in this port number is that i already have a mb server installed in my service so the port number of mb server is also the same as the jellyfins so if both are having the same port number then one of them might not work so the best case thing is to change one of their port numbers as i'm going to install jellyfin freshly i'm going to change jellyfin's port number to something else so if we go back to the install icon i'm going to change the port number to 8097 uh, and the HTTPS port number to 8921. So here you can use these default pre-configured options to add your uh, media files but I'm going to show you if you need additional things I'm going to show you how to add a new one uh, for this server. So first you need to go to add another path or port option and select the default one as path give a name as movie then for the container path slash movies for the host path you need to give the path where all your contents are stored so in my case i'm going to select my movies folder so this path is this is the path which is shown inside your jellyfin server so this is the path which is accessed via this uh, path which is shown in our jellyfish server so i'm going to click on add so my path is already added so you don't need to do this if you uh, you can use the default ones but i just showed you how to add another path also so i'm now i'm going to click apply i'm just going to verify whether all things are correct so okay so i'm going to click on apply so now we just need to wait until the installation is done after the installation is done click uh, press done Now go back to your docker tab and now you should be able to see your jellyfin server in your docker's interface. So go in, uh, click on the jellyfin icon and click on edit to verify whether the things that we configured are in their places. So the port numbers are okay uh, and the path that I had I've added is also okay. So now what we need to do is we need to add this content path to our jellyfin server. To do that we need to go to the jellyfins web interface so click on the jellyfin icon and click on web ui so you should get a brand new uh, startup wizard on your interface so click on your preferred language i'm going to select united states english press next so you can add a name uh, so name means a user account for your jellyfin server so i'm going to give mine as this so password is not a must i think so i'm going to press next 
and here you need to add your library so if i click on this add media path option and as i am going to add movies i am going to select the movies option and the display name will be shown as movies and here i need to add the place where my movies are stored if i click on this icon here you are able to see the movie uh, path which we just created by while we were installing the jellyfin server so if you have other parts added you will be able to see those from uh, this place so i'm going to select my movie path from here so you can see all my movies uh, and press ok afterwards you if you need you can uh, select the metadata downloaders options those kind of things for now i'm not going to add these options you also have advanced settings inside jellyfin server for real-time monitoring uh, so that means if you have additional uh, movies added to your library they will be processed uh, uh, at the same time they are added so for now i don't need these options i'm just going to press ok so after the library is added i'm going to press next uh, so you can add the metadata language and those kind of things i'm going to leave it as it is press next so you also have the option to allow remote connections to jellyfin so that like you can access your jellyfin server from a limo remote place if you have port forwarding enabled in your router uh, so for now i'm going to keep them as it is and press next so now the options are done i'm going to click on finish so here i need to give the user account that i just created so in my user account i don't have a password so as i don't have a password i just need to type the username and press on sign in in so now i have been taken into my interface of the jellyfin server so if i click on the home uh, tab i am able to see my movie library in my interface so here i can see all the movies still it's uh, processing my movies so because of that you don't need all of uh, you don't see all of my movies but that is how you configure your jellyfin server and add your medias to your jellyfin server so okay uh, so thank you guys for watching uh, i will be doing another video in uh, the process of adding transcoding uh, to the uh, mb server uh, sorry the jellyfin server uh, so that you can use your ram as transcoding so i have done previous videos for plex as well as mb you can watch them uh, and i'm going to do a future video for jellyfin uh, to do the uh, to show you the process of using your ram as transcoding storage so thank you guys for watching subscribe my channel and like share and uh, have a nice day thank you